Hi guys, uh, Panzer Dragoon Seven here, and uh, welcome to my second part of uh, an unboxing of the Nemesis uh, board game. Um, if you aren't caught up, then please watch the first part of this video where I go over all uh, of the core game box, um, including all the cards, all the inserts, uh, uh, some tiles, the map tiles. Uh, I flipped through the rule book, um, but now. I'm going to take you through the two uh, two of the expansions, namely the Void Cedars and the Carnomorph expansion. So first off, I'm going to start with the Nemesis Void Cedars. Um, once again, I haven't played this game. Um, as I mentioned in the video number one, I've, um, I've watched a playthrough of this uh, from another YouTuber and it looked really cool, so I decided to buy it as well. Um, so even though I don't have any first-hand experience on playing the game, um, um, I do know a little bit on how it is played, so, uh, although not enough to actually play the game immediately. So, uh, rule book, once again, all box wide, some elements, game setup, Void Cedar features and rules that might be different. Gameplay changes, all right, and a nice little artwork, page spanning, and a summary. Just put that there. Then straight up, we have two cardboard cutouts. One is the Void Cedar board. Let me just grab that and show you. Um, it looks pretty cool. Don't know what it means, but it seems like you have to destroy layers. There's the enemy uh, icons. Yeah, okay. And then we have... Is this the same rules? Okay, that's weird, but sure. Um, so there's some, uh, some warnings on here and some colored icons. Let me just pop these up. Because like the first one, the core box, I'm gonna assume that there's a space to put them. And that was weird because now there's this <laughs> this loose one with the hexagonal, uh, I'm saying it correct, right? One, two, three, yeah, hexagonal uh, tokens. And uh, the, the first board I took, I think these are originally from here. Yeah, because they fit here. So probably a flaw in their production progress process where these three there are popped out or something and then they decide to add them in loose sure as long as it's complete i don't mind what it looks like and then we have the box cover here taking it away once again some pretty oh that's interesting uh let me finish that sentence some pretty awesome minis as you can see uh, quite detailed still um, um once again i don't know what the because there's a, a new a second sprint coming out soon and it says it has higher detail minis uh, but these are already pretty detailed though i would love painting these don't know if i will i have done a few in the past but i haven't for quite a while i mean it's cool um, why I quit, stop talking for a second there is um, I'm missing its standee. I mean, it stands perfectly fine. It's actually pretty cool that it doesn't have a standee, you know, a base, I mean, standee. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And let's take out another one. Oh, he's awesome. I have like two knife hands. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, four of them, and then I have two more with my hands. They kind of remind me of a uh, predator, which I don't mind. Predator is a cool character. So that's that. And then there's I don't know an egg sack or something. Oh, it's actually hollowed out. That's an egg. It's an alien egg. Can I get it into the light? A little bit. So, 
nice, nice, eye for detail. Then there's a guy here that's breaking through a door frame, I guess. Cool detail, but right there. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought. So yeah, it's, it looks like it's breaking through a door frame or something of some kind. That's pretty cool. And for the cards. go doing it off frame again but that's a, kind of my trademark now i guess uh, so these are double-sided oh the first ones are uh so these are reference cards i think yeah so there's a few panic self-mutilation oh wow that already starts off pretty awesome defeatism Hopelessness. Oh wow, these are like Pyromaniac. Void Cedar Attack. So these are attack cards for the AI. Bite, yes. And finally, events. Monophobia. Okay. It's like fear of being alone. Fear of a single color. I don't know. Each character alone in a room. Yeah. So being alone. Hunt, terror, whispers. Okay, well, you get the gist. Right? Once again, a holder for when you sleep them. Now, I don't know if these, I mean, there is somewhat of a sleeve. They should fit in width, Do they fit in length. Mm, they might. They will not fit there, so they might fit there if they're sleeved. And these are an appeal pouch. <sighs> a little bit inconsistent, but it doesn't matter. Insanity track. Oh, oh, okay. This is a randomizer of sorts, I guess. Oh, it's either weakness. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to guess there's nothing underneath. There isn't. Is there something hidden underneath? There is it. Sometimes you have these board games like um, I don't know if I, I should say it um, because that might break it for some people. But uh, Gloomhaven actually has something hidden under the uh, the insert, plastic insert. Um, I can't think of another one that has it from the games that I've played, and I have quite a few. Mass of Darkness doesn't, Deep Madness doesn't, Aeon's End doesn't, uh, I don't think, uh, Bones, what's it called? Um, Splice and Dice, what's it called? Something Bones, sheesh, can't remember now, oh well, let's continue. That mini is not in there currently. Right, there we go. Uh, actually, does that fit right there? Yeah, that does, actually. I love it when things fit after you've unpacked them. Put that in there. That's the rules. All right, that was it for um, the Void Seeders expansion. Next one is the Carnomorphs. Sorry about the noise. Alright, there we go. Carnivores. Don't vacuum. Don't go vacuum. Yes, there we go. Once again, oh, this is the portrait mode. Rule books, game elements, mutations and rules, gameplay rules, no changes, I think. Nope. And the summary. 
and then it's side by side again. Oh, all right, move that aside. So once again, we have our player board, which the carnivore board looks exactly like the other ones. So a slightly different um, text and obviously other art, different art, but still cool. A few warning tokens. And some of the electrical wires, which I don't know, still don't know what they mean. The kind of goes right there. I just move this aside over here. This one as well. Then the main box. Ooh, this has been thrown around a little bit. Let's see if I can find where they went. This is gonna be difficult. Oh no, it's not. So um, yeah. I mean, look at this guy. He looks um, in the prime of his life. A little knife hand there. Pretty cool. Wouldn't be his friend though. Wouldn't want to be his friend. He looks like the guy that would slice you up if you didn't. Give him his lunch money back. So, um, there's actually quite a few of them in this box. Mm, one over there. Over there. And we have some teeny tiny ones, uh, which are like wormish kind of guys. <laughs> Whoops. Right, grab that later. Sorry about that. I have another one. Little wormies. Oh, there's two underneath as well. Oh. And then there's some spider guys. Ugh. Ew, they look like open carcasses or something. Oh, I'm in a light. Sorry about that. Yeah, disgusting. Fits the theme though. Right, and uh, let's grab a big one here. Yeah, he has his ribcage on backwards. And two heads and a tail. So, yeah. Again, not the kind of guy you want to be friends with, but, you know. And here we have, I don't know what this is. Wow. They've gone out all out in their designs here. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. How was this? Like this. And let's take this. Well, that's the same thing actually. This as well. Yes. All right. I guess that's it then. What was over here? Oh, that's the space for the tokens, I guess. Now we have some, uh, some cards. Tentacle, if a card of attack misses, it deals one light wound instead. So these are. Oh, Carnomorph Adaption. Cool, cool. So it adapts. That's pretty cool. It's like genetic malfunction. Changeling. Regenerative tissue. And the final one Tentacle. Tentacle. Again, seems like it would fit sleeve cards. Cool. I really like it when make game designers or game makers, publishers, whatever, keep the sleevers in the back of their minds. Because there are a lot of people that sleeve their cards. Just, you know, to keep them in pristine condition. They then don't fit. That's yeah. So we have some attack cards. We have some events as the other ones. And finally, character character mutations. Okay. 
You can grow a claw, apparently. Boiling blood. Scream. Escape master. Beast on the prowl. Scavenging biomatter. Airlock procedure glitch. Slash. And bite. And some other things. I have to wrap this up soon. Yes, yes, guys. It's actually my cats that you're hearing. And that was all of the cards. So, <clears throat> this was my um, my unboxing of uh, the Nemesis card game, uh, board game, sorry about that. And uh, two of the expansions. Um, I hope you liked watching these videos. If you have any um, suggestions or uh, tips or tricks or what I should do, what I shouldn't do, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like my videos, leave a thumbs up and um, thank you for uh, watching my videos, coming to see my videos, taking the time off uh, to listen to me ramble on. Um, in the meantime, you know, stay cool and, uh, you know, keep your distance for as long as it's necessary for now. And uh, I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Goodbye.